Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Assignment's all fit. The exploding charm. Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Revelio. I was a late fool. Spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control.
You have it well in hand. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. What a remarkable shot! Akia. That wasn't what I wanted to see. Well, it appears I've been bested. Well done! Diving, summoner's court, seems there's nothing you can't do. You played a good game though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. Revelio.
Revelio. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, and was buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Revelio. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide.
Revelio. Tried transforming a rabbit into a dinner game. Deke would like to speak with you when you have a moment.
Revelio. Spare a moment. Deke has an idea to share with you. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Revelio. Reckon they have a nice view from up there.
Revelio. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Defendo. Incendio. Revelio. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion. Merlin himself would be proud. Knowing the meat he's likely studied here.
Betting on the dragon fight was the best decision I've made yet. Ravenia! as a nifflers on a pile of gold, or a nogtail to a sow. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crackcroft. <gasps> no, no. If the bird is calling, I wouldn't say it's a good sign, not at all. It's evidence you've already caused disturbance, so no, I don't agree with you at all. Moving forward, they come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. It's no talus. I didn't always ah. like it. Like... Revelio. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you, if you get my meaning. Hippogriffs, do you? Places. Could it be a mullet? <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. <laughs> Lumos. Charles won't get the best of me. Revelio. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down.
Revelio. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Revenue. Rebellion. Ban Revelio. Bottom. Rebellion.
Alohomora. This looks intriguing. Revelio. These rocks have seen better days. Rebellion. I'm myself getting away from here and not taking a one of you with me since you've all turned yourselves into a pack of charming. Knowing the meat, he's likely studied her. Hogsmead, here I come. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Now we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Revelio. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. I'll look after you.
Professor Howan will never believe this. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Everything's all right now.
roads, it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours... Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask... Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape it all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. I couldn't move, paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. Ugh. Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tried Minister Spout old Spavin himself. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. I'll try my very best, Mr Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Hogsmeade, here I come. Rebellion. This must be Aronshire. Let's keep an eye out for spiders. Send 
Surely that's the last of them. breeding these things in her cellar. That means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Revelio. This is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. Revelio. A ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. This isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. Huh. Rebellion. Uh. I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there. before the situation gets even worse. My fault you're a deadly great spider. Revelio. Definitely going to anger your parents.
Revelio. Couldn't bring them. These eggs must be destroyed. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Rebellion. I hate to think that they see me, but I don't see them. Sacks. Revelio.
Revelio. Oh, wait. That's the last one. She's angry. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Come the assassin. A remarkable thing you did there, to say the least. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Done. I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend, but you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. 
I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. It's nice to see a familiar face. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. 
Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestral's Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Travel broadens the mind. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Beets for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? 
Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Beatrice Green from Dogwood and Death. Rebellion. Revelio. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Welcome, welcome. Hello again, Mr. Thistlewood. Oh, it's you again, my favorite Hogwarts student. Never attended Hogwarts myself. In fact, I've never been more than a stone's throw from our humble hamlet. Now, how may I be of service? You never wanted to get out and explore the world around you. Hard to believe, isn't it? Especially for someone so young. But no, some folk just aren't born with the need to wander. My sister Helen, on the other hand, she saw some of the world in her time as an aura. But I'm happy here. What do you have for sale? Now, how can I help?
Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Revelio. Rebellion. Thank you again. Things are certainly more settled around here now. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Revelio. Well, my feet didn't turn into beats. That's a good start. would use Devil's Snare. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos.
send you. Be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse, hopefully. certainly left behind more than plants. Rebellion. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Rebellion. Or something you need. That's been a pleasure. Now there's a student who knows how to. Rebellion.
Revelio. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Rebellion.
I'll look after you. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Wonder who lives here? Revelio. Should investigate. Revelio. Here I Revelio.
This place has seen better days. Akio! Indidium Leviosa! Leviosa! Revelio! Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. 
Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Rebellion. That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, Perhaps we can find out why. Rebellion. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Goblet metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Revelio. That curiosity. Best thing in the world, finding a beast in your trap. They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. I'm going to regret trespassing. One second and what happened? Calamity. The very moment I don't have every one of you standing on the side of the And the first one of you is trying to pin it on me. You can count the minutes till you speak your last word. i 
They were guarding the Minister for Magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Revelio. Fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. That's it. I bet it's the word. Don't know what Victor was sinking, striking about. Even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking. Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say. Did you hear those goblins? Randlock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite a fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it.
All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. That 
was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Rebellion! It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Revenue. 